yo welcome back to another video and this is the best one by far this is the most scared i've ever been playing this game ever any any game ever this I, i'm literally speechless at this game like i, I scream so much during this and it's i had to make it in my own video because this was during a stream and i just had to make it a video so if y'all laugh if you do any of that you know like subscribe share it and all that i appreciate it <laughs> enjoy Oh wait, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Wait, uh, you are Cliff, uh, a college student who is a brand new freelance. Okay. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 Cliff. Welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said Jesus. good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, what and the EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. What is that? What is... Ugh. Dictionary. Our directory. Directory. My bad. Directory. Nice. The door was unlocked. Am I, I in a church? Sometimes. So, here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hoped they disappeared. Everything is locked. Every everything is locked. I don't know if the battery moves or not. Like if I run a battery or anything. No. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible is supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. hallways patients would convene and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care then the war hit the depression hit and then the budgets all fell apart the room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention and by the end 150 patients would pass through this room naked starving attacking each other at random flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds be careful where you step Oh, Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Oh. Know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try this again. What? Oh. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Give us a sign that you are here. Tell us 
where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off! Oh, why? Why would you do that? You're not here. Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Did you hear that? Play that back, play that back. No! Pricks, show up or piss off! <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho! All right, all right, we, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Can't even sprint. All 
right, get out of this hallway and, and take a take your second right. Wait, take your second right? Wait, what? I'm not good with directions. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take mean? this staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. What staircase, my boy? Here? Do I just see? Oh. I swear something's moving over there. It's locked. Crap. Oh, okay, we need to. Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Oh my hold on, gosh. hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't even have a basement. What the, Why what, is someone? What is going on? All right, I right, just. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro! Bro! You can't- No! Oh my- Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't want to play this game anymore, bro. I don't, I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh my goodness. It, it changed. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't see. No eyes, don't see. What does that mean? Oh. Confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. 
there's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself, and while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary, I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Oh. I hate this game so fucking much. I ain't never jump scared this bad in any game I've ever played. Oh my gosh. Easy review on the page. Let me know any thoughts about the game. My name is Al Heck, bro. I hate you. I'm just playing. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got. <laughs> bro, any, like, any games that I see online? Or anything like it's just a whole bunch of scary games, bro. I'll show you after this, like what what I mean. Oh fudge! I'm already getting scared, Jack. What the fudge? 
It is everywhere. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, bro. We're already starting off like this. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just running around right now. Started off, oh, I'm gonna have no, oh, no objectives. The shadows line. Spooky. Oh God! But I'm not even getting scared, low key though. Like, it's just oh my fudge! <laughs> I'm not even getting scared, low key. It's just like uh, I my hand needs to move like really fast sometimes. I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's not bad, bro. Like, this, this is a free game, but this is free. I mean, you could, like, tip uh, the creators, though, but, you know, this is a free game, bro. I, I got a key, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. This is the beginning. I don't think I need to go back here. War 12 treatment. Let's go this way. I think it's just the same thing though. Yeah, you cut through there. War 12. I also go back down to the elevator. Well, I don't know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> after me <laughs> they lie why are they lying lying is not good we learned the drug in elementary school why why Oh my gosh! Oh my, what the fudge? <laughs> Bro, just get me out of here. coming oh god I thought someone was chasing me no one's there okay <laughs> bro is he going crazy is that bro screaming for his life bro <laughs> where he is oh shoot is that a cop car what kind of car is that wait so he made it out alive a fate worse than oh shoot Oh, we got food. Oh, I don't got a key. Wait, where's it? The they made you this way? Wait, what's wrong with the way I made? I like the way I made. Trust nobody? That is facts. Oh, key. Okay. 
where, I, where I'm free. Picked up a police officer over six rounds. Oh, there's more? Oh, fudge! That check scared. A grave error in judgment with two cut. <laughs> oh, 